The 14th IAAF World Championships in Athletics Moscow 2013 was an international athletics competition held in Moscow, Russia, from 10 to 18 August 2013. Initially, Russia won the most gold medals to top the table for the first time since 2001. It was also the first time ever the host nation took the top of the medal table. However, after disqualification of Russian sprinter Antonina Krivoshapka for doping and following redistribution of medals in the women's 4x400m four relay as well as after series of other disqualifications of Russian athletes for doping offenses, United States topped the medal table with eight golds. In the overall medal count, the United States won 26 medals in total, followed by Kenya with 12. With 1,784 athletes from 203 countries it was the biggest single sports event of the year. The number of spectators for the evening sessions was 268,548 surpassing Daegu 2011, Jamaica's Usain Bolt and Shelly Ann Fraser Price both won three gold medals in the men's and women's 100m, 200m and 4x100m relay respectively to become the most successful athletes at the event. This achievement also earned Bolt the title of being the most successful athlete in the history of the World Championships with eight gold and two silver medals. Prior to the competition, four sprinters were banned on doping charges. <laughs> Bidding process When the seeking deadline passed on 1 December 2006, four candidate cities had confirmed their candidatures. These were, Barcelona Spain, Brisbane Australia, Moscow Russia, and Gothenburg Sweden. The IAAF announced Moscow the winning candidate at the IAAF Council meeting in Mombasa on 27 March 2007. Gothenburg backed out already in December, citing lack of financial support from the Swedish government. Barcelona had a record of hosting the 1992 Summer Olympics and the 1995 IAAF World Indoor Championships. It was chosen over Madrid and Valencia, which were at one point outlined as possible candidates. Barcelona was later selected as the host for the 2010 European Athletics Championships. Brisbane simultaneously bid for 2011 and 2013 World Championships with the primary focus being on the 2011 event. Queensland Sport and Athletics Centre was the proposed venue. The venue had hosted the 1982 Commonwealth Games and 2001 Goodwill Games. It was also a failed bidder for the 2009 World Championships in Athletics, which was eventually won by Berlin. In the case of Moscow, Deputy Mayor Valery Vinogradov announced on 13 March 2006 that the city would bid for the 2011 Championships and suggested Luzhniki Stadium as venue. When the IAAF elected to decide the 2011 and 2013 events at the same meeting, Moscow added its name to the 2013 list. The city had hosted the 1980 Summer Olympics also at the Luzhniki Stadium and the 2006 IAAF World Indoor Championships. Topic: <inaudible> Venue <inaudible> <inaudible> Main venue was Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow with a capacity of 78,360 spectators. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Event schedule. Day-by-day -day event schedule of the 2013 championships. All dates are MSK UTC +3 reference. Topic. Event summary The championships featured three championship records, 22 world leadings, two area records, 48 national records but no world records. 
In addition to gold medals, individual winners received prize money of $60,000 whereas members of winning relay teams received $20,000. Men Usain Bolt of Jamaica moved to the top of the all-time World Championships medal table by winning three gold medals. He won the 100m, the 200m, and Jamaica won the 4x100m relay behind a strong anchor leg from Bolt who passed the United States' Justin Gatlin down the stretch. It was Bolt's second three gold performance at the World Championships. After the meet, his career total stood at eight golds and two silvers, narrowly surpassing Carl Lewis' eight golds, one silver, and one bronze. Trinidad and Tobago's Jehu Gordon edged America's Michael Tinsley by a hundredth of a second to win the 400m hurdles. It was the first gold for Trinidad and Tobago since 1997. Serbia's Emir Bekric took bronze in national record time. Felix Sanchez, competing for the Dominican Republic, also made the final of the event, marking his seventh consecutive World Championship 400m hurdles final. Great Britain's Mo Farah won the 5,000m and 10,000m to become the second man in history to win both events at both the World Champions and the Olympics. The only man to do it before had been Kenani Sebekiel of Ethiopia. Stephen Kipritic of Uganda became the first non-Kenyan to win the marathon at the World Championships since 2005. It was also Uganda's first men's title in the history of the event. Kipritic became only the second man, after Gezarain Abara, to follow an Olympic marathon gold medal with a World Championship marathon gold medal. Ethiopians Leliza Desiza and Tadis Tola took second and third respectively. In the high jump, Bowden Bondarenko set a championship record of 2.41, 7 feet 10.75 inches, en route to a gold medal in a highly competitive final. Mutaz Essa Basham of Qatar took second, and Derek Druin set a Canadian national record while winning bronze. Topic Track Topic Field Topic Women Shelly Ann Fraser Price became the first woman in World Championships history to sweep the sprint events when anchored Jamaica to gold in the 4 100 m relay. Jamaica's time of 41.29 set a championships record. Earlier in the meet, Fraser Price won the 100 m and the 200 m. In the final of the 200 m, Alison Felix tore her right hamstring. A photo finish gave Muriel Ahor of the Ivory Coast the silver over Nigeria's Blessing Okabere after both finished in the same time. Great Britain's Christine Ohuruok won the 400 metres in a national record time of 49.41. She came from behind to edge out defending champion Amantel Moncho of Botswana by four thousandths of a second in a photo finish. Zuzana Hedgenova won gold and set a Czech national record in the 400m hurdles. Eunice Sum of Kenya won her first major title, besting Olympic champion Maria Savinova of Russia in the 800m. In the 4x400m relay, although the United States suffered a time wasting exchange on the final leg, the Americans won by more than two seconds over Great Britain and France. The medal ceremony for the event took place at the 2017 IAAF World Championships in London upon the certification of results by the IAAF following the retroactive disqualification of first place Russia when Antonina Krivoshapka was retroactively disqualified on a positive drug test in a 2017 retest of samples. Russia's Tatiana Lysenko set a World Championships record in the hammer throw en route to the gold. 
Katarina Bargan won Colombia's first ever World Championship gold by finishing first in the triple jump. Christina Obergfell of Germany won her first World Championships title in Javelin. Topic Track Topic Field Reference Topic Statistics Topic Medals A total of 47 sets of medals were distributed between 38 countries. Initially, host nation Russia topped the medal table with seven gold medals. However, after numerous disqualifications of Russians athletes for doping, the United States topped the medal table with eight golds. In the overall medal count, the United States won 26 medals in total, followed by Kenya with 12. Asterisk host nation Russia. Topic Points The IAAF placing table assigns eight points to the first place and so on to the eight finalists, except teams that do not start or are disqualified. Sixty IAAF members received points. Host Topic. Participating nations 206 countries or more accurately, IAAF members participated with a total of 1974 athletes. The biggest delegation was the one of USA with 137 athletes. The number of athletes sent per nation is show in parentheses. Reference Topic Broadcasting Topic American Coverage In the United States, the IAAF sold exclusive rights to Universal Sports, a network associated with NBC Sports. Universal sports can only be seen in about 10% of the households in the American market. While NBC provided an hour and a half of coverage on weekend days, Universal Sports limited other distribution of the content, even online content requiring login with cable subscription user names. For those viewers without access to Universal Sports, nationwide coverage of the entire meet was generally limited to six hours of weekend coverage. The IAAF provided short YouTube highlight clips, a fraction of the online coverage they provided from Daegu two years earlier, instead promoting an internet radio feed and Twitter updates. Controversies The introduction of a Russia federal law in June banning «homosexual propaganda» affected the championships hosted in Moscow. Western and international bodies had already condemned the move prior to the event, which was scheduled several months prior to the more prominent 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. The IAAF Deputy Secretary General, Nick Davies, stated that the international nature of the competition might alter the country's perspective, but that the matter of gay rights would not be addressed by the championships, as long as its athletes were unaffected. Russian politician Vitaly Milanov had stated that the law would apply to athletes and tourists in the same way as Russian citizens. He also said those suggesting a boycott of the championships in protest of the laws were merely avoiding their competitors, saying, "...sports competitions are a place where there can't be any politics." Several athletes voiced their concerns over the issue of gay rights in Russia, but none boycotted the event. 
American runner Nick Simmons, a supporter of the NOH 8 campaign for equal rights, said he would respect the host nation and its laws and would focus on sporting competition only in Moscow. However, he maintained his position as an advocate of gay rights and would silently dedicate his performance, "...to my gay and lesbian friends back home." Two Swedish athletes, high jumper Emma Green Tregaro and sprinter Moa Hjelma, attracted attention when they painted their nails in a rainbow pattern in support of gay rights and displayed the colors during the qualifying rounds. The IAAF notified the Swedish Athletics Federation that this gesture was in breach of rules on athlete conduct. The Swedish officials stood by Green Tregaro, but she relented under the pressure. In the high jump finals, she sported all red nails as a symbol of love. While watching the high jump finals, Paavo Arhinmäki, the Finnish Minister for Culture and Sport, waved a rainbow flag at the arena. Hjelma had been eliminated in the first round of the 200 meters and did not compete again at the championships. Russia's Yelena Isenbayeva was a popular winner in the women's pole vault, but later drew controversy for her remarks criticizing Green Tregaro's nails. She said the protests were disrespectful towards the host nation and commented in English, "...we consider ourselves like normal, standard people, we just live boys with women, girls with boys we have our law which everyone has to respect." When we go to different countries, we try to follow their rules." Following the negative reactions from other athletes and Western media she said that she had been misunderstood due to her grasp of English. "...what I wanted to say was that people should respect the laws of other countries particularly when they are guests. But let me make it clear I respect the views of my fellow athletes, and let me state in the strongest terms that I am opposed to any discrimination against gay people on the grounds of their sexuality which is against the Olympic Charter." During the medal ceremony for the women's 4x400m four relay images of Ksenia Ryzova and Yulia Gushchina sharing a kiss on the lips spread through social media and were interpreted as a protest against the anti-gay laws. Both Ryzova and Gushchina denied any intention to make such a protest, rather they were simply happy with their athletic success, and stated that they were married to men. Although reports were principally focused on the pair, all four of the Russia relay runners briefly kissed each other on the podium. Ryzova described her assumed connection to LGBT as insulting. The Russian Minister for Sport, Vitaly Mutko, said that Western media had over-emphasized the issue, noting that same-sex relations are not illegal in Russia and sparser coverage of the issue in domestic media. Anti-doping At the championships the IAAF collected blood samples from all participating athletes, following the procedure introduced at the 2011 World Championships in Athletics, in line with supporting its athlete biological passport program. This assisted the Federation in detecting athletes' potential usage of banned substances, including steroids, human growth hormone, EPO and blood doping. In addition to the mandatory blood tests, the IAAF also conducted around 500 urine tests at the championships in three groups. All medalists were subjected to urine tests, those showing biological passport anomalies were targeted, and random urine tests were also applied. Continuing with procedures initiated at the 2005 edition, all urine tests were scheduled for long-term storage to allow retrospective testing in future. All athlete samples were processed at the Moscow Anti-Doping Laboratory accredited by the World Anti-Doping Agency. In the months preceding the event, around 40 Russian athletes received doping bans. The most prominent of these were Daya Pishchelnikova discus runner-up at the 2012 Summer Olympics and Olga Kuzenkova former Olympic and world champion in the hammer throw. 
The Russian Athletics Federation president Valentin Balaknichev defended the bans as proof of the increasing effectiveness of RUSADA, the Russian anti-doping agency, which had been formed 3 years before. According to the New York Times, Pishchelnikova was a whistleblower who sent the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA a December 2012 email detailing state-run doping programs in which Russian athletes had to participate. Her ban by the Russian Athletics Federation was likely in retaliation. A month before the competition, the Mail on Sunday, a British newspaper, carried out an investigation and published the fact that the head of the Moscow Anti-Doping laboratory, Grigory Rodchenkov, had been arrested on charges of drug distribution, but the case against him had been dropped. His sister was convicted of purchasing banned drugs with the intention to supply them to athletes. Former Russian coach Oleg Popov and 400 m runner Valentin Kruglyakov stated that athletes were ordered to dope and paid officials to conceal their positive tests. The coach of the national athletics team, Valentin Maslikov, noted that Kruglyakov had tested positive for drugs and that Popov coached Lada Chernova, who had twice tested positive. He also stated that RUSADA and its labs were independent from the national sports federations. On 18 November 2015, WADA suspended laboratory of RUSADA, Moscow Anti-Doping Laboratory, however the organization was not dissolved and tests are to be done by other independent labs. In February 2016, two high-ranking directors of the organization—Vyakslav Sinyev and Nikita Karmaev—died. According to Sunday Times, Karmaev approached the news agency shortly before his death planning to publish a book on the true story of sport pharmacology and doping in Russia since 1987. Outside of Russia, three of the world's top sprinters had positive tests during the build up Asafa Powell, Tyson Gay, and Veronica Campbell Brown. The drug testing results from the competition revealed several athletes had been using performance enhancing drugs. The fifth place finisher in the men's javelin, Roman Avramenko of Ukraine, tested positive for 4 chlorodehydromethyl testosterone, a steroid, as did Turkmenistan's Yelena Ryabova, a competitor in the women's 200 meters. Another 200 meters runner, Yelizaveta Bryzgina, also of Ukraine, was banned for the steroid drostanolone. Afghan 100 m runner Masoud Azizi had nandrolona in his sample. Two athletes in the walking events, Ayman Kozakmatova and Ibrahim Rahimian, failed their tests for EPO, as did Guatemala's marathon runner Jeremias Saloy. <laughs> <laughs> Russian doping scandal Media attention began growing in December 2014 when German broadcaster ARD reported on state-sponsored doping in Russia, comparing it to doping in East Germany. In November 2015, the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA published a report and the International Association of Athletics Federations IAAF suspended Russia indefinitely from world track and field events. The 335-page report, compiled following a nearly year-long investigation by a commission led by former anti-doping agency president Dick Pound, urged the International Association of Athletics Federations to suspend Russia from competition, including the Olympics in Brazil. The report said Russia sabotaged the 2012 Olympics by allowing athletes who should have been banned for doping violations to compete in the London Games. It recommended the anti-doping agency impose lifetime suspensions for 10 Russian coaches and athletes, including women's 800m gold medalist Maria Savinova. The United Kingdom anti-doping agency later assisted WADA with testing in Russia. 
In June 2016, they reported that they were unable to fully carry out their work and noted intimidation by armed Federal Security Service (FSB) agents after a Russian former lab director made allegations about the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. WADA commissioned an independent investigation led by Richard McLaren. McLaren's investigation found corroborating evidence, concluding in a report published in July 2016 that the Ministry of Sport and the FSB had operated a «state-directed failsafe system» using a «disappearing positive test methodology» DPM from «at least late 2011 to August 2015». Topic: Athlete desertion. Orlando Ortega, a Cuban athlete who competes in the 110 meters hurdles, deserted his national delegation during the championships and did not return to Cuba at its conclusion. Ortega had received a six-month ban from the Cuban Athletics Federation earlier in the season for unspecified disciplinary reasons. Valentin Balaknichev, the president of the Russian Athletics Federation, stated that he had had no contact from the athlete and in any case the federation was not looking to recruit him. <laughs> Notes <laughs> See also Athletics at the 2012 Summer Olympics 2013 World Championships in Athletics Qualification Standards <laughs> <laughs>